pollen and nectar. Inside a flower, there is a sweet juice called nectar. An insects and birds drink nectar as they take pollen from one flower to another. When a bee drinks nectar, pollen stick to its furry body. Look at when a bee drinks the nectar from the sweet. So everybody, today I'm gonna read a book named How Flowers Grow. Now let's start. Lots of flowers. There are thousands of different kinds of flowers growing all around the world. These are peasant flowers. They are so beautiful. These amazing flowers are peasant flowers. Seeds to seedlings. Seeds to the little tiny birds. So this is seed to seedling. A seed has a hard shell with a young plant. Inside, seeds grow in the soil when the sun and rain has made them warm and wet. These are sunflower seeds. This is sunflower seeds. Khmer, they call kachukroa. Each sunflower seed can grow into a big sunflower. This is called a sunflower. In the soil, a shell of a seed splits. Can you see it splitting? And then very big they come in there. A small root sprouts of it, out of it. Then the shoot grows out of the seed. When the shoot breaks through the soil, it's called a seedling. Now it's a seedling. The largest seed in the world is the cocodemia. It's bigger than a football. Look at that. The person smaller than it. Plant pots. Most plants are made out of flower leaves, roots, and stems. This is a wood sorrel plant. The stem keeps the plant upright. Leaves and flowers grow on the stem. Plants make their food in their green leaves. Can you see the green leaf? They make food. Some some plants have some plants have leaves that are sharp and spiky. They grow well as animals prefer to eat smooth leaves. Lots of things you eat are plant parts. Broccoli is a bunch of flowers and carrots are kind of root. Underground the roots soak up water from the soil. They hold the plant in place too. Making food. They make food by the, their, the, their leaves. Leaves produce water to the roots and then they make fruits. Making food. Plants need food to grow. They use sunlight and air and water to make their food. The leaves soak up air and sunlight. Then the leaves suck rainwater up the stem from the roots. The water, sunlight and air make the food in the leaves. Hydronix tulip bluebell amadralis. They have t they have loop down there. Can you see this is a loop here? This is also a kind of loop. Some plants store their food in loops, which are made of layers of special leaves. Onions are type of loop. You can cut one in half so you can see its layer. Look at this layer. Buds to flowers. When a seedling has grown into a strong plant, it's ready to grow flowers. Both bee flowers are called buds. Inside the petals are tightly packed inside a bug. Look, it am growing. Slowly, a bud begins to open. Its petals start to appear. The petals open into a flower. In the middle of the flowers, there are long tubes called stamen. stamen. On the tip of the stamen, there is some powder called pollen. Plants use pollen to make seeds. In the list, flowers grow in cold places. They have a fluffy coat or hairs to keep them warm. Look at these two flowers. They are very small, but in the list, it's very big. Look at them. Pollen and nectar. Inside a flower, there is a sweet juice called nectar. An insect and birds drink nectar as they take pollen from one flower to another. When a bee drinks nectar, pollen stick to its furry body. Look at when a bee drinks the nectar from the sweet flowers, the pollen from the flower sticks to them. It flies and 
to another flower at the same time and some the pollen drop off. When they fly to another, the pollen drop off and then they go more. This flower now has some pollen from another flower. Pollen can drop into a hummingbird's big as it drink nectar. The pollen drops off into the next flower that the hummingbird visits. Bees can collect nectar from over 1,000 flowers before they feel full. Look at this big boy. Making seeds. Plants start to grow seeds soon as they have po some pollen from another plant. When pollen lands on a puppy, a pot grow in the middle. Do you know pots? Pots like this. Seeds grow inside the pot and the flowers begin to die. The petal for of leaving a pot full of seeds. Look at pot full of seeds. And when they grow, they actually be like this, like a virus. Albiums are made of lots of tiny flowers. Each flower becomes a tiny seed pot. Tiny lantern seeds grow inside a hollow case. Can you see the case? And this will not grow all yet. Some caterpillars live in seed pots. When the caterpillars move, the pot seems to jump. Can you see actually they jumping, moving? Spreading seed. Seed needs lots of space to grow so they have to be scattered for a pot. Wood rock seeds have sharp spikes. Can you see the hook? It's like a pineapple. They can cut on animal first as it brush past. Can you see when animal like rabbit brush past? The actually bad rock stick to them because they are so sharp, spiky. When the animal scratches the seed for off, then the rabbit scratches. It's scratching the bird rock, it falls off and then grow into new seeds. Cranes build plants have seed pods on thin stems. Seed pod, can you see the seed pod? The stem curls up and shoots the seed out of their pods. It curls up and shoots the seeds out of their pods. Can you see pods and seeds? Dandelion seeds float on the wind like pot shoes. When an ant carries seed into their nest to eat, they eat some of the seeds begin to grow. When they carry their seeds to the nest, if they are growing, they eat it. Goodbye everyone, now I have read it and now I will continue this book another another day and if you like my middle reading please like and subscribe okay.